Every day, we eat and drink. But, do we know where those substances go after we have ingested them? During this documentary, we will show you the different parts of the digestive system and how those substances are digested. In this documentary, we will show you in depth and detail how the digestive system works. Ready? Here we go. Here we see an actual CAT scan of a patient to remain unnamed. Here we see the stomach, the liver, large and small intestines, along with all the other organs of the digestive system. Let's go over to Mark now, who is eating in front of a an x-ray screen. Here he is eating a Tootsie Roll, and we will watch as it goes down the esophagus. Neat. Now, he's drinking juice, which is actually barium, but we'll call it juice. We'll watch now as it runs and slides right down through the pharynx and the esophagus and into the stomach. Here we have a Voxar 3D image of the abdominal pelvic and the organs therein. As the skin is faded away, we can see the stomach and the large and small intestines. Now, with the depth and expanse of 3D imaging, we can have a better understanding and detailed look at these organs. So, here we see the liver come in, that red part that you just saw. So let's look at that. That bluish purple stuff that you just saw come in is the bone, and by looking at the bone, comparing that with the digestive system, we can kind of see where that digestive system kind of fits into place. Let's take a spin now and look at the different sides and angles of these organs. Let's take a quick update of the journey of the barium, where previously you saw Mark just drinking it and going down the esophagus, and if you'll see here, the barium continues down the esophagus and loads into the stomach. The stomach is composed of four sections, the fundus, cardia, body, and pylorus. Let's now send the time over to Dr. Richard Hopkins. We can see the stomach and the common bile duct coming from the liver into the bowel. Back to the barium now, as it goes from the stomach into the intestines, where they are working hard to digest it. Let's take a look now at the large intestine. We start in the cecum and follow the ascending colon across the transverse colon. down the descending colon to the sigmoid colon. From there it goes to the rectum and out the anus as feces. We call that defecation. We hope you've enjoyed our presentation on the digestive system and have learned a thing or two about the food's journey through the digestive system. Join us next week when we talk about the nervous system.